guys, so I am just gonna go run some errands this morning. I'm actually gonna try to um, take Elena's pictures at home. Cause you guys remember when I did the Father's Day gift for Travis, I did the pictures at home and they actually turned out fairly good. And I think I could do it again. I mean, there's things that I would tweak this time that I didn't like as much then when I did it, but I think I'll be able to do a pretty good job. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get a background and I'm gonna kind of get everything that I need. And then I'm also gonna go to the grocery store and I think we might stop and maybe get something to eat, maybe go to the park or something. Um, Travis is still sleeping. He just can't get up on the weekends. Taking one nap during the day, um, in the middle of the day, it's hard because um, she doesn't get up until like three o'clock, usually. She'll go down for a nap at one and then get up at like three. So if we don't get up and do our errands in the morning, like we seriously can't do anything all day until like 3.30 or something, which I hate waiting until 3.30 to do anything, so. I'm just gonna get basic black fabric. I think that's gonna be a good choice. Um, I don't know anything about fabrics, but it's like the cheapest one, so it'll work. Right, Buggy? I think that'll work. I also saw this, which I've seen a lot of people store their makeup in, but I've heard they're really, really cheap, so I don't think I'm gonna get it, but I do need something new to store my makeup in because I don't have any storage right now, so I was thinking about that, but I don't know, because I've heard they're extremely horrible quality, but. All right, guys, so I've been wanting to take Elena to this park ever since like I was pregnant like probably before I was pregnant um, this is a park that I used to go to a lot when I was little um, it's called I used to call it the boat park and every time we were in town I would beg my mom to go to the boat park like it was just my favorite park and it was always a treat when we got to go we didn't get to go every time we were here but like she would let us go every once in a while and it was like one of those things I'm finally gonna be able to take her here and just so you guys know it's um, a lot nicer now than it was when I was little when I was little it was just like a wooden boat like no paint job or anything it was just like a cheap boat a big slide and some swings but for some reason I thought it was the coolest park in the world so um, it's a lot different now but um, yeah I'm just really excited I've been wanting to take her here forever so we'll see how she does she still doesn't play very well at parks I mean she can't really do much but um, it'll still be kind of fun for her and there's some kids there too so maybe she'll make a friend boat right here let's go in there let's go up here walk up this way Go up in the boat. Look at that, it's like a real boat. That's so cool. Can you go in there? Are you waving? Can you go? Careful, there's a step right there. There's a step right there, you gotta be careful. Oh, look at you in there. Can you drive it? Yeah. Drive it. Look at there's a steering wheel right there. Yeah, go buggy. Elena, I can see you. Is that cool? Be careful, there's a step. There you go. <laughs> Did you have a fun time at the park? Is that a fun park? I told you it was cool, huh? <laughs> so it is kind of a hard age though right now to take her to the park because she's kind of at that age where she doesn't know boundaries and she doesn't know like, I don't know, like she wants to do what the big kids do a little bit and I have to watch her because she can't get down like stairs very easy or like she'll try to crawl off something really high or something so it's kind of hard because I have to sit there and watch her the whole entire time but um it's still fun it's still fun to see her like walk around and things like that. Are you excited for some Mongolian? Really? Hmm? You got some on your plate right here. Oh it's rice it's good getting Mongolian where they cook it in front of you and it's gonna be delicious, huh? Do you like it? Do you like Mongolian? It'd be a good way for you to get your vegetables for once, huh? So apparently the only thing she'll eat is carrots. Out of everything in my bowl, she wants the carrots. Which is fine by me. Oopsie. Now mommy knows what to cook you. <laughs> So before I go, I wanted to show you, share with you, the hell? 
this really interesting story that just happened to me. Really actually cool story. And just when people are nice in this world, it really like is awesome. Like it makes you realize like there are really good people in this world just for no reason. Like people are just amazingly nice people. And so I go into Mongolian Grill and I had Elena on my hip and I was trying to, you know how you get, like serve yourself at Mongolian places? Well, I was holding her on one hip and um, serving my bowl with my other hip and I was going to let or with my other arm. And I was gonna let um, Elena eat out of my bowl. So, you know, the lady's getting my table already, got the high chair over there and stuff. And after I got my food, I brought it over there with Elena. As I was putting her in her high chair, I squatted down to like strap her in. And I looked over and this, this guy was just looking at me, just like a 45 year old guy. Totally just like an innocent smile. And I smiled back at him just out of kindness. Cause I tend to, I smile at everyone. Like I'm just a smiley person. And I just smiled at him and just kind of put Elena in her thing. And when he smiled at me, um, he, I, he had this look on his face and I, in my mind, I was like, I swear I like read his mind. It was the weirdest thing, but I was like, he is going to pay for my meal. I don't know what made me think that. I've never had a meal paid for before in my entire life. It's never happened to me, so it's not like it was something that happens to me all the time or something. I just, in my mind, when I looked at him, I was like, he's gonna pay for my food. And so I'm just eating with Elena. I like made her a plate. I don't know if he thought I was like a single mom or something, but then like um, a few minutes later, maybe like 10 minutes later, he leaves and the waitress lady goes, um, that gentleman there paid for your food. And I was like, what the heck? I was like, no way. She's like, yeah, he paid for it and everything. So um, you're free to go whenever you're done. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so crazy. And so sweet for one. Like I was like, that is so sweet. Like he just paid for my food. I don't know if it's cause I smiled at him or what he was thinking in his head. But like, I swear I read his mind because I thought in my head, like that's what he was thinking. And he totally did it. Like, is that not weird? So nice. And it just like brightens up someone's day. Like seriously, it brightened up my day. So I'm making a root beer float, but our fridge has been freezing stuff and it froze my mug root beer, which sucks. So, but I don't need a whole can, I just need some of it. Oh, there we go. Mmm, I love root beer floats, super good. And Buggy likes vanilla ice cream. Huh, babe? Mm -hmm. Buggy likes vanilla ice cream? Yeah. Also, she likes anything sweet. Yep. I just uploaded this video um, and this is the painting we were kind of talking about in our last vlog. I actually like the way it turned out though. It's not the way I originally intended it to turn out, but it turned out pretty cool. Let's get this party started, Bug. Hey, Buggy. Want to get this party started? Here you go. There you go. Yep, there's Appa. And here's Papa. Hi. You gotta point it at her. Hi. You're such a good little vlogger. You can, can point it in everything. Can you tell everybody anything? Can you tell them something? What do you want to tell the world? Oh, there's Yuki. Oh, you want to show them Yuki? There's Yuki. He's so good at vlogging. I can't even believe it. You're taking after mommy. Oh, good job, sweetie. Oh, Go sweet. show them your favorite toy. Where's your favorite toy? Go show them your favorite toy. There's your toy. <laughs> You're so oh, yeah. smart. Is it this guy? Is that your favorite toy? Can you put him on the camera? Oh, good job, Buggy. So something that really sucks. Um, I left my shirt on my chair and Buggy was trying to climb the chair. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but looks like she did a tear out on my shirt. And I really like this shirt. It was like 55 bucks or something like that. Oh well, I'm gonna still wear it though. <laughs> I don't care if it's all mangled. But that sucks. What? Oh really? What do you oh what is it? Is it something you're gonna show me? What? Bite? Bite? Oh, boy. oh boy. You love an appas. Shake. Shake. 
You lazy. I didn't say play dead. Hey, don't ram it into Appa. Oh, mm. pet, pet, pet. Mm. Oh, there's a head hug. Mm. Oh, and a kiss. <laughs> oh, and Appa give you a kiss back. Get it. Throw it. <laughs> no. Get it from him. Oh, nice one, sweetie. Get it from him. Get it from him. Get it from him. Look at me. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, you like wearing it gangster style, huh? Yeah, you do. You're like, I'm gangster, Dad. I don't wear it like you old school fogies. What am I making? Steak. <laughs> do you guys have Vine yet? It's like the new, like, it's going to be like the new big app. It's kind of like Instagram type of thing. It's like a social type of sharing app and it's like video and so you can do like little tiny clips like video clips and like it's really really cool you guys should definitely get it because I just did a bind but it's cool and my username is Kara Emily on there I don't have it yet because I'm not cool no you're not <laughs> so I'm making steak but I think I just burnt it or not burnt it but like overdone it over overdone it overdid it and I'm gonna do green beans da -da -da. And I usually put like garlic powder, salt and pepper on them and it's good. Here's the final product. But like I said, I think the steaks are like way overdone. I'm horrible at cooking steaks. Like that's the one thing Travis does better than me when it comes to cooking. Uh, right, babe? Sure. But he ran out of propane so we had to cook it on like the stove today. Mm -hmm. But are you excited? Well, I don't know because it's just pretty overdone. You should cut into it. Actually, I don't want you to cut into it on camera, because I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> do you want something to eat, too? You don't want to just sit there, do you? Ooh, look at that look. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> you want this? Cut it up for her so she can have a few pieces. Yeah. Is it hot? All right, so they're not as bad as I thought. There's some pink in there. I literally thought I cooked out all the pink, but there's pink in there. It's not as bad as I thought. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I just don't think the steaks are the greatest, but oh well. And this rice is really good too. Mm-hmm.